So we are currently on Porter Mills Road in Knox, Pennsylvania, looking for Baby Doll Clubhouse. Supposedly down this sketchy road. It might not even be standing anymore. There it is. There it is right there. Ooh, it's creepy. There it is. Yeah, that's it right there. That's it. Right there it is. Alright, so there it is. Imagine coming here at night. Yeah. So I don't really know of a story about it. Um I don't really know of a story about this place other than it's just like in the middle of fucking nowhere and is really creepy. Um there's generally like a bunch of baby dolls inside with weird shit written on them. Um or on the roof. I don't see any right now. I haven't been here in like 10 years, maybe longer. When I was here before, there was baby dolls on the roof and inside. Like I said, I don't see any on the roof right now. It also looks like the path going down to it is overgrown. Um, there's a lot of bugs out here. Hopefully we get one and then fix. All right, so let's Let's take a look here. If there's any dolls in there. Okay. Do you want to just go for it? Mm -hmm. You're definitely going to have to check for ticks. We are definitely getting ticks on us today. Wait for me. Might be an animal or something in there. Looks like they clean the place out. Uh, yeah. Absolutely no baby dolls in here. No. I don't see any. I don't even see a piece of one. Well, guys, here we are inside. Um. Like Channing said, sorry to disappoint you, but there's no baby dolls in here this time. Like I said, there was when I was here about 10 years ago. There was a lot of them. Um, yeah, there's not even any remnants of any. There's just a old shack in the middle of the woods with a bunch of uh, graffiti. So uh, yeah, I don't know so much. This probably isn't really much of a local legend anymore. What do you think Channing, a little bit disappointing? I mean, if you want to see it, it's it's still, I guess it's kind of creepy. If you came out here at night, it would probably be pretty creepy. But as far as baby doll clubhouse, yeah, uh, not so much anymore. Um, so yeah, I'd say don't waste your time. Uh, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of looks like Jason's shack, doesn't it? Yeah. That's, that's what's kind of cool about it. Kind of resembles Jason's shack in Friday the 13th part two. Kind of reminds me of that but uh yeah other than that i'd say don't waste your time it's like really difficult to get to um so all right well we're gonna go and make sure we don't have ticks all over us which i'm sure we do all right here we are in curlsville pennsylvania and we are searching for the infamous local legend the truck from hell I will tell you guys about it. Uh, basically, the legend is that a long time ago, a man, a truck driver, murdered his wife and kids, his entire family, uh, and he tri drove his truck into a field, and he whatever he did was so evil that Satan himself pulled the truck down into the depths of hell. And what do we have here, folks? There it is. There it is. There's the truck from hell. 
right there. Now I'm gonna try to figure out, that says road closed. So I gotta figure out somewhere we can park. I it's always a pain in the ass to get to this thing. None of these local legends are, are easy to uh, get to or navigate. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do. I feel like I should just stop my car, leave it right there since I mean the road's closed, right? Why not? <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna stop right here for a moment. All right, let's get out. So, yeah, there's there's nothing around really. I mean, it's it's. I think that's what's so creepy about it, is it's just like there's just. Yeah, but there's just like a truck sticking straight out of the ground um, in the middle of the field. And you can tell it's been there a long time. Um, the first time I ever came, long, long, long time ago, I was much younger. Uh, none of that like brush and stuff around the truck. Let me get the, yeah, right there. None of that brush stuff was around it. Um, so yeah, it's definitely overgrown. No, it always looked old, but, um, yeah, no, I've actually walked up to it. I don't think we're going to do that today. I think I have footage at home, some good close-up shots of it that uh, I can show you guys. Um, this is just really badly overgrown. Um, we were already pulling ticks off of ourselves from walking through that little bit of brush at baby doll clubhouse so i don't think we're gonna because that's almost that stuff you might not look it on camera but that's legit almost like waist high for me um so yeah we would definitely be covered in ticks Yeah. Yeah. So guys, like I said, the, there's many variations of the uh, legend of the story, um, but that's, that's like the most common. It's, it's some form of that, that a, a truck driver that lives somewhere in the area. I know there's houses up there um, that he murdered his family and drove the truck into the field and killed himself and the devil or demons or something tried to pull him and the truck down, down to hell, which is why it's called the truck from hell. Yeah. And like, that's the other part of the legend is like, supposedly if you come here at night, you know, the spirit, the evil spirit of the guy wants this field, this area, the truck itself. Um, you hear all sorts of stories. Um, spoiler alert for everybody. I'm going to debunk the legend. I don't really like doing that. I like to keep the legend going, but I, I'm the point of us making these videos is to kind of uh, give you like some facts along with the legend itself. So the legend's still fun and you can still pass it along. You can always tell the legend. The legend's always gonna be there. It's always gonna be fun. Like I'm sure the local kids still talk about it. Um, but like I said, I also want these videos to be informative and kind of give you some truth to the stories themselves. It's so hot out here. <laughs> um, so the truth is actually kind of boring. Um, the guy that owned the truck lives somewhere down this road, I believe. Uh, and basically a long time ago, he drove the truck into the field and backed it into a ditch and it got stuck. Um, and he just never moved it. And the reason it's standing straight up on its end is because over time, the truck just sunk the back end just sunk more and more and more and more and more into the ground 
So, you know, maybe started out like this and then it just kept sinking, 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 and eventually it's standing almost straight. It's a little bit angled, but eventually standing almost straight up like that. And that's where it stayed. He's just never pulled it out. So that's the truth to the legend is that, you know, truck just got stuck, dude left it there, sunk more into the ground and th there it is. Um, but yeah, so that's the truck from hell. And like I said, it's easy to come to find. It's easy to get out to. Um, it's, it is really creepy, even in the daytime. Like every time I've ever seen it, it you kind of get this like weird feeling like, oh, that, that shouldn't be there. Like there's something very off about this. Um, so yeah, um, it's located in Curlsville, Pennsylvania. I will post directions um, in the comments because um, I'm not really sure the name of the road that we're on. Um, but it's not hard to find. It's really easy to find. So there we go. That's the truck from hell. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe.